Hello there everyone and welcome to another edition of Lydia's Crafty Corner with me Lydia in my little crafty corner. So today we're going to be doing marker and also some pencil colouring. I'm starting with the Exotic Blooms marker colouring book and I'm just going to choose one of the images here. We do have the colour catcher which goes just underneath the kind of picture that you're working on just to stop any of this marker bleed from going under. The colour that I'm going to be using first is the Aqualicious Marker and I'm going to be adding that to the parts that are going to be the darkest. So that's at the base of the petals and also where other petals overlap each other. So you're going to want to put that shadow on the petal that is underneath. So I'm just going to add a couple of flicks of that colour in and I'm then going to take the Dewdrops Marker and I'm going to kind of flick over the ones that I've just made but I'm going to be taking that further into the petal. I then wanted to add some more little folds to these petals. So to do this, I'm going to take that darker marker that I was using. So that was the Aqualicious. And I'm just going to add this where the lines are on the picture. So if you look at the picture, it's very faint if you are using the gray one. But you can see the like kind of little fold lines in there. So I'm just tracing around those with the darker marker and then going over that a little bit further with the lighter marker. So that's the dew drops. So I'm just going to keep going with that. Now, if you wanted to, you could definitely do all the darker bits first, but I do find that it helps me out kind of work out kind of where the shading needs to go if I just do a couple of petals at a time. And that way I can see the bloom building up and kind of coming to life right before my eyes just by adding this colour in. So that is the Aqualicious we're going to add to the base of the petal and where the petals overlap and also a couple of little flicks of that just to the tips of the petal to add in those folds or ruffles. So once I have that down I can then take the lighter marker and I'm just going to flick over the colours that I've just added, so that darker colour, to kind of blend that out and also add more colour to the picture. Now as you can see with the petals I didn't add all of the marker all over them, I still like that white highlight there. So for the leaves and stems, I'm going to go with a different technique, slightly different. So I am going to add my darker shade, which is the moss, just to the stems and to the darker parts of the leaves. I'm then going to go in with a second colour and I'm going to go over that colour that we've just added, but slightly further into the leaf. I used the olive for that. And then once I have those two colours down there, I'm then going to take my lightest colour, which is the parrot, and I'm going to go over the entire leaf to kind of blend all of those colours together. So once I have done all of that, I'm then going to move on to the flower centres and I'm just kind of dabbing the colour into these. I did use the beautiful orange blaze and then the sun-kissed markers for this. So once I have finished with my marker colouring, I'm then going to add some more detail in with the pencils. So I'm using the Woodless, um, woodless Pencils from Altenews. This is the one that is the large box. And I'm just going to add in some shading to the images. As you can see, I'm just kind of flicking like I would with the markers, just in those darker points where I added that darker marker shading. So for the darker point, I am going to be using the beautiful Galactic Stream. It's one of my favourite colours and I love that navy against them teal colours that we have there. Again, I'm just going to add it in where I think it's going to be the darkest, just adding a little bit more detail to the colouring that's already there. So once I have finished with that, I'm then going to take the Volcano Lake and I'm just going to go further in. So just like we did with the marker colouring, we're going to do exactly the same with the pencil. So with the darker colour down first in the darker places and then the lighter colour further into the petals. I do love the look of this as it really does give so much depth and dimension to the images. Once I've done with that, I'm then going to take the Autumn Blaze kind of pencil again and I'm just going to add in a little bit more detail to those flower centres and also add in a little bit of the stamens just by kind of scribbling a circle around the images. Now you still might be able to see the picture through, 
the mark color in that we've just done so you can kind of just trace those out so once that has been done all of my flower coloring has been done I'm then going to move on to the leaves and I'm just going to use the moss pencil just to add some darker shading to the leaves and stems. I can then remove my little picture from the book and as you can see that colour catcher has caught any of the marker that has bled through the page. I do love that little colour catcher. It's such a handy little tool to have. Once I've done with that I'm then going to add a little bit more detail to this. So I'm just adding a little bit of a cut line on a diagonal going from the corner to corner using a craft knife and a ruler. So I'm just gonna cut the two pieces from the corners that don't directly go through the image. So once I have done that, I can then take my scissors and I'm just gonna fussy cut around the other part of the image, which is over the cut line, so the stuff that I want to see. So once that was done, I then decided I want to add a little bit more of a pattern behind this to make the image pop a little bit more. I'm using the Essentials black and white 6x6 paper pack and I'm just taking this spotty one out. And I'm just going to add this to the front of my card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Once I've done that, I can then add my little piece into place. And for a little bit of dimension, I am using the foam tape from Altenew just to pop this up a little bit from that card base. Once that's done, for the sentiment, I'm using the sentiment strip stamp set. And I'm going to take one of the images or sentiments from the set and I'm going to stamp this onto some jet black cardstock using the embossing ink from Altenew. And I'm just going to heat set that using some pure white embossing powder. To pop this up a little bit, I am going to be using some of the foam tape again. So I'm just going to add this behind the sentiment that I've just trimmed up. So I'm just going to add that on, remove the backing, and then I can pop that into place onto my card base. Once I'm happy with where that's going to go, I'm just going to press that down so it's nicely adhered. For a little bit more of um, dimension, a little bit more interest, I am going to be adding some of these jet black um, enamel dots from the Essentials Black and White Enamel Dots collection. And here is the card complete. So I really do hope that you like the card and that you've enjoyed the video as well. If you do create a card that was inspired by this, it'd be great if you do share because we'd love to see. Thank you so much for watching everyone and we'll see you again really, really soon. Bye bye. Hello there crafty friend, Lydia here. Just popping in to say that you can get your daily dose of crafting tips, techniques and tutorials just like this by subscribing to the Altenew YouTube channel. All you need to do is click on that little bell up there and you will never miss a video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.